create a virtual disk which is actually referred as storage space. Hello everyone, welcome to the third part of the video series that covers in and out of storage spaces. In the second part we spoke about how you can create a storage pool from available physical disks. Now that we have created a new storage pool called finance storage pool in the second part, the third part of the video series will guide you to create one or more virtual disks from an available storage pool. So when you create a virtual disk you can select how the data is laid out across the physical disks and it affects both the uh, reliability and performance you can also select whether to create thin or fixed provisioned disks all right we are in the storage pools page and we have selected the newly created storage pool called finance storage pool so when we click on it we have all the three physical disks that we selected to create this storage pool now under virtual disks we're going to click on tasks we'll click on new virtual disk and the new virtual disk wizard opens on the before you begin page click next we'll click on the newly created storage pool which is a finance storage pool and you can see we have a free space of 9 GB so we'll click on it and we'll click next now we got to specify the virtual disk name so we'll type finance virtual disk 01 and we'll type the description saying that this virtual disk is used by finance I'll click next now for the layout you have three layouts simple mirror parity these are the types of disk resiliency that we spoke about in our previous video so in our case we'll click on mirror and we'll click next and for the provisioning type you have two options one is thin and another one is fixed with thin provisioning space is allocated on an as needed basis so this optimizes the usage of available storage however because this enables you to over allocate storage you must carefully monitor how much disk space is available in fixed provisioning the storage capacity is allocated immediately at the time of a virtual disk is created so therefore fixed provisioning uses spaces from the storage pool that is equal to the virtual disk size with storage spaces you can create both thin and fixed provisioned virtual disks in the same storage pool for example you could use a thin provisioned virtual disk to host a database and a fixed provisioned virtual disk to host associated log files in my case I'll select fixed provisioning type and I'll click next here you can specify the size of the virtual disk so you have two options either you can specify a size out of the 9 GB free space which is available on the storage pool or you can select the maximum size so if I select maximum size the virtual disk that we are going to create will use the maximum capacity of the storage pool in our case we are going to specify a size for the virtual disk so we'll say virtual disk size should be 1.5 GB so what it will do is it'll allocate 1.5 GB of space from all the three physical disks that we selected to create this storage pool and we'll also check this option that says create the largest virtual disk possible up to the specified size by checking this option the wizard will either create 1.5 GB of virtual disk or the largest virtual disk possible so I'll click next now here you can verify the settings and then click on create now you need to verify that all tasks are completed also 
by default this wizard will also create a volume when this wizard closes. So in my case I'm going to uncheck this option and I'll click close. Now back in the storage pool you can see our virtual disk called finance virtual disk 01 has been created. The size is 2 GB which is the largest virtual disk that the wizard could create because we had specified the size of the virtual disk to be 1.5 GB. So it allocated 2 GB in each physical disk of the finance storage pool. Remember we have three physical disks so if we multiply 2 GB into three physical disks it will use 6 GB of space from the 9 GB of available free space that we had before creating the virtual disk called finance virtual disk 01. So if we can use rest of the free space that is 3 GB more we can create another mirror disk of 1 GB in size. So if you can see here we created another virtual disk of 1 GB in size. Okay this concludes the third part of the video series that talks about creating one or more virtual disks from an available storage pool. In the fourth part of the video series I'm going to show you how you can create logical volumes. Thanks for watching and for more videos please subscribe to my channel.